Well, most of the power is back on tonight, but earlier today, about 14,000 Austin Energy customers lost their lights. KXAN's Doug Shoup is live downtown to explain why this storm was a little different and what you can do next time to get the lights back on faster. Doug? Yeah, Shannon, usually when storms roll through like today's, the problem is trees bump into the lines and knock the power out. But we're told that wasn't the biggest problem today. Instead, we're told it was lightning. And tonight, Austin Energy has some tips to help you get your power turned back on faster in the future. Musician J.D. Penley lost power to his Hyde Park home around 10 Thursday morning. It just seemed like uh, one simple rainstorm and now the power's out again. I'm a little frustrated. He says it was enough to drive him, well, crazy. I practiced the guitar for a little while. I, uh, I drank my medium warm cup of coffee and I actually, I, I, I took a nap for about 20 minutes just seeing what would happen and when I got up, it was still out. But he never did report the outage to Austin Energy. Well, I, that would have been a good move. <laughs> Austin Energy says although utilities are making power grids smarter to detect outages on their own, that's still a few years away, so they rely on customer calls to get crews to outages faster. Your outage may be totally unrelated to your neighbor's outage or someone down the street. If you wait and thinking that you'll wait for them to call in the outage, your outage may be totally different, and we won't know about it unless you call in and report it. At Christ Lutheran Church in Travis Heights, Secretary Alana Rock got little work done following the storms. The building lost half its power. I need my computer and the printer to do all the work. I Rock, however, did call Austin Energy, but it still took six hours for crews to restore power to the church. I'd been calling them like almost every hour on the hour just to make sure, you know, okay, you know, you're still coming out here, right? Austin Energy says they were fully staffed, but crews had to visit more than 150 problem areas. They say rather than wind and large outages, lightning was the bigger problem in Thursday's storm because it caused many small and medium-sized outages. The lightning hit, you know, equipment, uh, transformers, uh, trip fuses. Um, so we had those type of outages and not as many you know, trees or branches down and, and wires down and poles down like we sometimes get when we get severe storms through here. Now, Austin Energy says it's a good idea to have your utility bill with you when you call to report in a power outage. They say that will help crews get to you faster. And, of course, you're always supposed to call this number, 322-9100, when reporting a power outage and not 311. Live in downtown tonight, Doug Shoup, KXA and Austin News.